Welcome to our lecture online. Since negative exponents are usually a big challenge for us, let's do some more examples dealing with negative exponents. So we, here we have two examples. Notice that this one is the exact same problem written twice because we're going to execute it in two different ways. The first thing we're going to do with the top here, we're going to get rid of all the negative exponents by using our rules, by flipping the fraction or bringing something to the denominator to the numerator and then changing negative exponents to positive exponents. I like to do that because it looks cleaner with just only positive exponents, although it does take some more work. That means it's not always the best or fastest or easiest way to do it. So here, notice I'm going to make this into a positive 3 by flipping the fraction around. So this becomes y over x squared raised to the positive 3 power. And here again, I can flip this over, and this becomes y squared divided by x to the minus 3 raised to the positive 1 exponent. So I simply flipped the two fractions over and made those into positive exponents. Notice I have a negative exponent here. I can move that to the numerator and make that into a positive exponent. So this is equal to the quantity y over x squared to the third power times x cubed y squared to the first power. Now all the negative exponents are gone. Notice anything raised to the first power, you simply get that quantity back. Here we're going to apply the exponent rule, so this becomes y to the third power divided by x squared to the third power times x cubed y squared. So this becomes equal to y cubed x cubed y squared in the numerator divided by x to the sixth power in the denominator, because when we raise an exponent to an exponent, we get we multiply. And then we can combine the y here. So we have x cubed y to the 2 plus 3 power. When we multiply in the base are the same, we add exponents divided by x to the 6 power. And here, notice that the x in the denominator has the largest exponent. So it's better to bring the numerator down than bring the denominator up, because then we end up with a negative exponent. So this becomes equal to uh, y to the fifth divided by x to the sixth minus three power. When we bring the this down, we subtract exponents. So this is y to the fifth divided by x cubed. And that's the final answer of that initial expression. Could we get there a little bit faster? We could by simply multiplying everything together. So here we can say that we have x squared raised to the negative three power divided by y raised to the negative 3 power times x to the negative 3 raised to the negative 1 power and y squared raised to the negative 1 power. We simply apply the rule when we have an exponent raised to an exponent, we multiply exponents. So this becomes x to the minus 6 divided by y to the minus 3. And here we have x to the positive 3 divided by y to the negative 2. And then we use the rule that when we multiply and the base are the same, then we simply add exponents. So in the numerator, this becomes x to the minus 6 plus 3, which is a minus 3. In the denominator, this becomes y minus 3 minus 2, which is a minus 5. Then we simply flip the, flip the uh, fraction, turning the negative exponents into positive exponents. So this becomes y to the fifth divided by x to the third. And notice... It was faster, probably easier, by simply going ahead and not first changing all the negative exponents, but simply use the rules of exponents to simplify the expression, sometimes quicker to do so. And here, again, we can do the same thing like we did over here. We're simply going to apply the rules of exponents. So this can be written as a to the negative 2 power, b squared raised to the negative 2 power, c to the negative 1 raised to the negative 2 power. Here we have a cubed and b to the negative 2 power, oops, negative 2 power raised to the third power. So notice we apply the exponents to each of the factors inside the parentheses. When we do that, we get the following. We get a to the negative 2, we get b to the negative 4, c to the positive 2 when we multiply, a cubed and b to the negative 6. 
And now we multiply and the base are the same, we add exponents. So this becomes a to the minus two plus three, b to the minus four minus six, and c squared. And simplifying that, we end up with a to the first power in the numerator, c to the second power, and b, well actually, I'm skipping a step. I probably shouldn't skip that step. Let me do one more step here. So let's add it all up. So we have a to the positive 1 power, b to the negative 10 power, and c to the second power. And then you can see, to get rid of that negative exponent, we move the b to the negative 10 power to the denominator, and we end up with a c squared divided by b to the 10 power. And let's write that c a little bit better. There we go, and that's then the final result of this initial expression. Sometimes it's just better to just use the rules of exponents, simplify by adding or multiplying depending on the situation, and then you quickly get to the final result, and that's how it's done.